Welcome to this series on building a social network with Go. This social network will be a microblogging app much like Twitter. For the database, we'll use CockroachDB, a SQL database written in Go. PGX is the driver we will use. Also, we will make use of Branca tokens as an alternative to JWT to sign users in. Now, open a terminal and do a go get to install those two dependencies. For this project, I'll make two packages. A service package and a handler package. The handler is the HTTP transport layer, so you can swap out this for gRPC or GraphQL if you want. Service needs a reference to the database and to the Branca codec. The user model looks simple now, but it will grow. Let's make the database schema. Nakama is the name of the app, so is the name of the database. For now, we will only have a user's table. Now, we start Cockroach in the terminal. And copy the database address. Now, we can execute that SQL script to create the database and users table. In the main function, let's start by connecting to the database. Then, creating the codec to make tokens. Remember to set a key that no one should know. Set it as an environment variable and get it from there using the OS package. Now, pass the DB and codec reference to our service. We will use the service to back an HTTP REST ish API. Instead of the default router that comes with Go, we'll make use of Way. I will separate all the API routes in one router, because in the future I will add another router to serve static content. That is it, the handler's struct just contains a reference to the service. Now, let's define the two handlers to create users a log them in.
To log in you just need an email. Inside the login handler, start by decoding the email from the request body. Let's move to the service package and actually implement the logic. This login is actually a development use only function. It doesn't require a password or anything. It's to accelerate the dev process. So, we first search for a user in the DB with that email. Then, we create a token using the user ID. I am gonna set a 14 days expiration date for tokens. I forgot it, but this token lifespan must be used alongside with the Branca codec. Now, we can call the login function from the handler. I am gonna set some HTTP utilities to respond with JSON and log errors. I forgot to validate the email. I will use a regular expression to check it.
Done. Now, let's move to the create user function. To create a user you pass an email and a username. The handler starts by decoding the request same as before. The actual service function starts by validating the input. To check the username I also make use of a regular expression. This function checks for the unique violation SQL error. I don't remember the SQL code so I will leave it to fill it later. If all went OK, I respond with a blank 200 response. Now, let's go back to the main function to create a server using the handler. DB and codec are not exported, so I will make a constructor instead of exporting them. Done. Now, let's try to build the program. Remember to load the driver. Now, to test the API and make HTTP request I will use a VS Code extension called REST Client. Oh, crap. There it is. 
Remember to add those three dots. Oh, I forgot to add the name of the database in the database address. There it is. That's it. Looking good. You can see the user there in the database. Now, if you go and try to create the same user again, you get a unique violation error. I can copy the SQL code now to check for that error and send better error messages. better. Now, let's test the login. There it is. I think I just need to lowercase the JSON. That is it, fellows. I will continue to upload these videos. Tell me what do you think about it and any questions down below.